Welcome back, space exploration artists. Today we are going to be making a really cool galaxy handprint using spray paint and all other sorts of fun stuff. So let's get started. We just read this really great book, There's No Place Like Space, and this is where our project is gonna come from today. So the first thing you're gonna do is get your piece of copy paper. This could be white, it could be a piece of construction paper. It's what we're going to cut out our handprint from. You should also have a black piece of construction paper. I'm using matte board for the durability. Um, if you don't have matte board at home, construction paper, cardstock, um, anything like that would work too. So I'm gonna start by taking my Sharpie and hand, you can use a pencil for this, it's fine and I'm going to set my hand on the paper and just trace my hand. If my Sharpie is dying, it doesn't matter because I'm going to be cutting this out anyway. Once you get your handprint drawn, you can cut it out. Parents, if you were doing this project with your child, you could also cut out your child's hand and your hand, and they may both fit on the construction paper. That would be a really cute idea. Once you finish this, then you are going to tape this down in position of where you want it on your black paper. So I'm going to take my mat board, it's just what you can make frames with, and I'm going to level mine up where that black line um, and the yellow line kind of touch right there. That looks like a, a good spot for mine. I'm going to flip it over, and you can use whichever side. Remember, we're going to be spray painting over this, so if the Sharpie shows a little bit, it doesn't matter. This is going to be ultimately discarded. You can take your tape and fold it, and you're just going to position this around the fingertips. Try not to let the tape stick out, because that will affect the silhouette of your hand. The one at the wrist. just for a little bit of added security there that it doesn't blow away. So now I'm gonna flip this over, line it up at the corner there, and then just press down. So once I have this, I am ready to go spray paint. Okay, once you're finished spray painting your work, now the fun part begins. You can take your hand cut out and gently pull up and you'll see it would have created this like beautiful background. I may have gotten in too big of a hurry though. Okay, so before you pull that up, you can actually put this back like I did if you, if you actually get in too big of a hurry. But what you have, what I have here um, is, I'm going to put one of these away, but I've just got some white tempera paint. Any kind of white paint, you can have a paint pen, um, it could be white spray paint. I just thought this might be a little better for stars to do kind of a flicking method and make those kind of splatters. So I've just put tempera mixed with a little bit of water. And so what I'm going to do now is you can either use the brush or the edge of this and you can just gently start kind of tapping. And you can see how that's gonna create a really cool kind of galaxy star pattern. Some are big, some are small. And that's what I like about doing this on top of the spray paint because sometimes the spray paint is just kind of one consistency. So you can also take your brush like this if you have it 
and then just flick those on there like so. Okay, once you get all those, then you can finally, obviously my favorite part, pull this off. If you have a paint pen, um, you can test it out on your hand here, make sure that that's working pretty good. And you can write a favorite quote or something that has to do with space. So you could put, I'm gonna put reach for the stars. Notice that that is kind of soaking in. You can use a silver Sharpie um, that might show up a little better. I don't think this is showing up though because the paint is actually almost empty. We've used this a lot. So reach for the stars. You could put your name on this or whatever you like. Um, again, this is kind of fading. So a metallic marker, a silver Sharpie, uh, or you could probably just take your paintbrush and dip in, paint something. That might be a little messy though. I like mine like this. All right, I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. The 2021 Summer Space Exploration Kids Art Camp is brought to you by the Monroe Area Council for the Arts and supported by the East Tennessee Foundation and the Grubb Sumner Grant. Thank you.